Hello. Thank you for joining me. We're going to answer an age-long question. Why do Americans drive automatic and Europeans drive manual? I'll just be sitting on the toilet any given random day, and this question will pop into my head. <laughs> and I just don't understand. Like, are, are European men just that much more manly than, than we are? I will admit, I'm pretty embarrassed to admit, I don't know how to drive manual car. I know you got the clutch on the, the shifter. Just put it like that. No, 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 no. Hit that pedal, this pedal, that. release it. Make sure you don't release it while you're hitting this pedal. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm embarrassed. I will admit. It is definitely a manly skill. Like a more, I don't know. There's something about it. It's definitely cooler. Driving manual is definitely cooler, but it's way <laughs> more inconvenient. How are you supposed to text and drive if you have to have your hand on this thing? <laughs> that was a joke. All right, let's watch. Driving license. Huh? I learned to drive with my mother's mini. Oh. And when I turned 18, I went to get my driving license. I've never heard it just be called a mini. It was a manual 18, that's pretty old. transmission car, like 90% of all cars in Belgium, where I live. When I turned 20, my father said I should drive his car to the restaurant we were heading for my birthday dinner. It was an automatic transmission car. <laughs> a whole new world opened to me. I don't have to shift gears anymore. Nope. My left leg is free. Wow. Yeah. I didn't think about it too much as I thought it was something additional, a luxury on a higher end car to ah. have like the Mercedes that my father had. Six months later, I found a- It's a, kind of a funny thing because that's not true, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times guys will be buying these super expensive cars, specifically they want the manual one. Company for my international internship in the land of opportunity. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. A buddy of mine and I rented wow. a car for the first two weeks, and the only option available, automatic transmission. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Especially if you're renting a car. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. If you let a bunch of Americans rent a manual car, it would come back like, who knows? That engine would be so jacked up. Okay, no problem. I drove it once, I thought, and we got it. Because from, from stalling out, like, over and 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 over. Later on. We bought an old 1991 Toyota Celica GT with automatic transmission. Well, that's odd, we thought. An old car with automatic transmission? Hmm. In my mind, I'm still associating automatic transition being for luxury cars, so I couldn't place it well. Interesting. One month later, during my internship, my boss asks to get something and I could use his car. When he hands over my the keys he, he says can you drive a manual transmission and I was like yeah of course I've got my license and see that's where I would be so embarrassed to say no no I don't know how because I'm a little boy and he responded <laughs> well this is the states man not everyone can drive it it got me thinking what does he mean are Americans bad drivers <laughs> When I arrived back in the office, I asked my colleagues what kind of transmission they have in their car. And all of them answered with automatic. That's funny. I was shocked. That, you, that he didn't even realize that. I guess there's no way you would know unless you asked. And when I said, well, in Europe, most of us drive manual transmission, one colleague responded, why would you? Automatic is easy. Why would anyone take the harder option? I went away and did some research and found out the following information. Here it is. That's in what I want to know. 80% of all new cars are manual transmissions. Oh my god. Where in the States, it's around 5%. An automatic wow. car is, generally speaking, 1,000 to 2,000 euros more expensive. The taxes on cars are very high, especially in West Europe and Scandinavian countries where taxes can be up to 150%. So getting an automatic What? What did he just say? Very high, especially in West Europe 
and Scandinavian countries where taxes can be up to 150%. What do you mean? So getting an automatic over there is a huge amount of extra money you'd pay. 150% tax? You pay more in tax than you did for the car? That should be illegal. You guys should be in the streets <laughs> protesting. In most European countries, you pay an additional tax on the engine size and horsepower, which pushes the manufacturers into the smaller and lighter cars section, like an Audi A1 three-cylinder one litre, where in the US, people tend to get three-litre V6 or V8 engines. Automatic transmission is heavier than manual, making your car weigh more, which causes more fuel consumption, which is a big no-no for Europeans because the gas prices are significantly higher there. I never thought about that. I know people have been like, well, you have more control over a manual car, so you use less gas because you have more control, <laughs> which may or may not be true, but the fact that they're heavier, now that makes sense. For example, that the, he the automatic is heavier. In the US, a liter, where one liter is 0.264 gallons of gasoline is about 0.81 USD. In Belgium, it's 1.62. I wish the prices were this low. Okay, it's 1.64. In Italy, it's 1.84. Three years ago. Driving a manual car is harder and you need to regulate the clutch properly or you will consume more fuel, which in proportion- Right, like you might be able to save gas, but if you're not good at it, you Use more gas. And get higher if you drive a V6 or V8 US car instead of a V4 Euro car. The maintenance and repair costs of automatic cars are also higher compared with the manual. Really? Europe has a dynamic topography. The continent is dominated by narrower roads, hilly areas, crowded cities, and bumpy terrains. Driving through the roads kind of sounds like a nightmare for a manual of Europe thus calls for ultimate driving experience with manual transmissions. Yeah. Moving the gears up and down is more common when driving through the countryside area, hence manual offers seamless acceleration around the corners. To summarize, the differences are mostly economical and geographical reasons, not really the way how people like to drive. What do you think will happen in the future? Well, in the future, right here, he's got the Tesla popping up. And with, with the electric cars, you, uh, they're not going to give you a manual. <laughs> so that's kind of sad. That's going to go out the window. Will the trend keep on going? Or will we see a change because of electrical vehicles? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you disliked it, then drop a dislike. <laughs> that was actually a great video. I mean, hey, if you're listening, Inspire and Lead by Cells, that was an awesome video. But the background music could be turned down or gone. <laughs> that was an epic video. I learned a lot. And that actually did answer all the questions. Uh, except now I, I need to know, how do they get away with a 150% tax? No, no. You're going to charge more in tax than the car was worth? I hope I'm misunderstanding that. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully I'll see you here tomorrow. I'll be here. <laughs> I hope I'm not alone. Subscribe if you want to. Either way. Goodbye.